What is going on there, everyone? This is Berserk here, and today I'm going to bring out some BO3 gameplay. Sniping gameplay, of course, that's what I do. And um, before we get into it, let's uh, just say that this is not the best gameplay. I actually had some okay gameplay, not even good either. But um, my laptop died while I was recording, so I lost all of that. And um, decided to get on and like, try to you know get some gameplay. And this gameplay, um, what I like about it is that it's not... Um, like oh oh I got like 20 kills and then uh, oh you know and zero deaths you know it's not about the kill death ratio but more about like it showed a lot what this game is offering and what it, you know, it's gonna offer to anyone that buys it um like y'all saw right now um this game for sure you're gonna be falling out of the map a lot that's one thing that's been happening to me lately. And I never had a problem like that, but the thing is, you know, you're actually able to walk on the buildings outside of the map, which I think is actually pretty cool. But before we get into it, let's, um, let me first off list all the negative, and then let me list the positive positive because I like, you know, I like to share the end again. <laughs> um, okay, negative. There's only a very, very little negative that I find about this game. One of them is, um, the... I don't, yeah, I guess you would say the sway. There's not much of a sway, but like, I don't know how to explain it. But basically, um, whenever you drag scope, you know, when you have to drag scope. You know, any other car you drag scope because you know you're gonna miss, but you know, you don't have to zoom in all the way out. You could just drag it a little bit and you kill the enemy. But when you're dragging, you know, your scope also slows down. That is not available in this game, or that is not, you know, in this game, you know, it, like. I don't know how to explain it. Basically, you zoom in, you try to dry scope, it's gonna be the same sensitivity as what you have whenever um, you're looking around. Oh, this is one thing I wanna talk about. This is actually pretty cool. When you have a hellstorm route, you can actually slow it down and then go full blast. I, swear, I really like that about this game. Um, even though I'm not gonna use the hellstorm, you know, but it's actually pretty cool detail that they thought about. It. Like, you know, like sometimes you use the hellstorm, like, oh, damn it, you know, there's no nobody spawning. And then when you, you know, destroy it, there's like fucking five people that spawn. You know, this score streak is really good because, you know, even though there's any people there yet, you can slow down and then when you see someone, okay, I can go here and get the kill. At least one kill, you know? Like I just did. And, um, oh yeah, let's go back to the negative. Um, the drag scoping, you know, the sensitivity, it won't slow down, so it's gonna get, I'm not saying it's bad, the game is bad because of that. It's just, it's gonna take some time for me to get used to it. It's, you know, like any other con, you know, you have to get used to its cons and, you know, try to enjoy the game for what it is and, you know, from there, if you like it, whoop-dee-doo, whoop -dee don't, it's just what you like the con. So far, I think the game's really good. Um, as you see this uh, score streak called the Talon, um, it's, it's good, but it's not good if you're trying to go for clips. Reason for it, why being is, uh, it's gonna try, to, it's gonna stand next to you and uh, while you're getting some quick kills, it's also trying to shoot the enemy way before you even see it, like right there. I didn't even, I was barely even looking at the enemy and the freaking talent was already shooting at it. This type of score streak is actually pretty good for like tactical gaming, like search and destroy and then like just stuff like that, you know? But, you know, personally, I wouldn't use it. The only reason I have it, default, and um, I was barely even level some, any, like any, like I was barely uh, high level to get it, like another score streak. I was in high, I don't know how to explain it. Basically, I'm still at a low level right now, guys. Um, what I like also, really, really like, okay, now let's get to the, the, what I like about the game. What I really like about this game is that there's no timer. You know, there's two, oh, for a domination. That's what I'm speaking. Like, there's no timer. You know, there's still two rounds. But, you know, to be able to win the first round, you have to get, you have to reach 100 first. And then it goes to the second, you know, the second round. That's pretty cool because, you know, like, sometimes you're like, you, you, you know, you're like, oh my god, you know, the game ended too quick. This is, um, this is good and bad at the same time, actually. Um, but personally, I think, you know, it's pretty good, you know. Something different, and, you know, I, I have no complaints about it. Um, another really good thing, well, bad thing right now. <laughs> A lot of people are gonna be con camping. Um, that's expected from you know any game that's launched. A lot of people are gonna camp because they're like, oh my KD, like I have to have it, you know, really high. Which personally I think KD is just stupid. 
doesn't really prove if you're good, it just proves if you're sweating your balls off while you play. And that's about it, you know. If you know people that only people I think that should really care for their kill death ratio or at least will win death ratio or win loss ratio should be like the MOG players. Not the ones that show off and brag it, rub it in your face like oh, bro, your KD is a one point three, like get out of here, kill yourself. Those people are the ones that you know at least get in my nerves. I don't know about y'all guys. <laughs> Uh, but to be honest, KD kill death ratio does not show if you're good or not at all. I've been uh I've been cool with I've been friends with people that have like nice you know two KD ratios with snipers and they never hit a clip in their life at all. And um, so yeah, that's my opinions about that. I don't know why I got off topic. Basically, I give this game a seven point five, and this is right now you know you know at launch and. Uh, for anyone that's you know you know likes to enjoy the game for what it is, you know get the game. You know the game is good, but if you're one of those little <laughs> bitchy people, look. At, and that's one thing I like about that right there. I w I should have been dead. I fell off the map, but I started walking on the wall and you know I made it out alive. And then a camper killed me. Uh, you know, all that hard work for no reason. <laughs> but um. Like I said, guys, if you, you know, if you like, you know, you enjoy Call of Duty, you, you enjoy first-person shooters, you know, you're not one of those people that judge every little detail, you know, get the game. Now, the sniping-wise, um, I'm not going to be saying what the, like, other YouTubers say and then, like, what, like, smaller YouTubers copy off those bigger YouTubers and then say it themselves, like, oh, it's a challenge. I don't play a game because it's a challenge I play a game because it's fun now I like it because it's different and um, it is gonna be fun you know trying to get used to this um, it's not a chat I don't really see it as a challenge because there's people that you know do like nothing you know and um, and I could like get quick souls every now and then so it's not really much of a challenge it's just you know, getting used to it and um, so far, I haven't hit a clip yet. You know, I just got it. I wasn't actually gonna get get it when I was playing the beta because I just thought the beta sucked. And then I got it. You know, at the last minute, I actually pre-ordered it the day it was being released. And um, went to the tournament actually, and then they were holding. But I won the first round. But um, I left because um, they, it was time for them to release a game, and they're like, "Oh, the tournament's still gonna go on." You know, like the winner gets a copy of Black Ops, a free copy of Black Ops Three. The tournament was still gonna go on, but the thing is, there's like so many people that wanted to go get it, and it was like 11 something, and I had to go to work the next day. So I'm like, now screw this, I'm trying to play the game as much as I can before I go to sleep and go to work. So you know, I left, and there were some pretty good little 12 year olds, I have to say, um, that you know that I couldn't, you know, couldn't go any of the people that you know went to the concert. But bummer, whatever. You know, and overall, game is good. Like I said, sniping totally different. Don't even try to think oh, what your skills of COD for, COD every fucking COD until until advanced warfare. If you think you're gonna use those skills on this game, think again. Everything's totally different. And um, the only thing that's still the same is that you can zoom in and you can zoom out. That's the thing, in my opinion. <laughs> and of course, that it's one shot kill. And um, that's about it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If so, leave a like down below. Tell me what you think for those who already have the game, or don't tell me at all because uh, nobody's watching my videos. <laughs> Hopefully, I get my subscribers and my viewers back. And the only way I can do it is by uploading. And this is Berserk Guys on the mic. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later. Objective failed.